The most insane new unit in Wargroove 2 has to be the Guardian. This is not actually a unit, no. This is a building with wheels. Take a look, the Guardian starts its life as a building, but you can capture it, turning it into a full health unit that you control. That will end its turn, but next turn it becomes a menace. Take a look at this damage. What else in the game could possibly do 175% damage to a sword? That's just ridiculous. Now I know what you're thinking, well who cares? Well who cares at all, it's just a sword, and now I'm gonna destroy this Guardian. Well, no you're not. But let's talk about some of the Guardian's weaknesses. First of all, the Guardian cannot counterattack. So as long as you're attacking it, and it's not attacking you, you won't take any damage at all. Which means all of these units can happily attack the Guardian and take absolutely no counterattack damage. But how come even the Mighty Golem only does 18% damage to this thing on planes? With all this damage, it's still only at 64%. But wait, it gets even crazier. I'm gonna end my turn right now. And the Guardian is at 94%, but it can't move. What's going on here? The answer is that the Guardian will stun itself the turn after it attacks, making it unable to do anything. If you just moved it, you're fine, but if it attacks, it will stun itself. However, while the Guardian is self-stunned, it will recover 30% health at the beginning of every turn, which is why it's at 94% instead of 64%. Now I'm going to end my turn again, and as you can see, even if everything attacks it again, I'm going to do that real quick. Alright, everything attacked it again. The Guardian will once again regenerate 30% health, and then unstun itself. So, all together, a Golem hitting it twice, four swords hitting it. That was only 12% damage, and the Guardian is free to run away, or just charge at the Golem now. This thing is an insanely powerful unit. We will talk about its weaknesses and how to actually defeat this immortal monster at the end of the video. But for now, let's talk more about its specs. So, the Guardian is a wheeled unit, meaning it is very happy to move very fast along road with seven wheel speed, making it one of the fastest units in the game if there's road. However, if you put it on planes, it can only move three spaces, making it incredibly slow. And to make matters worse, it can't go through forests at all, and will be super slowed by the new cut forest terrain. So it really needs those roads to zoom around. In terms of sheer damage, the Guardian is a monster. It will do over 100% damage to all of these units on planes. It will destroy all of them in one hit, even if it's weakened. Look at this, 189% to a rifle, that's crazy! The Knight will actually survive with 10% health, making it one of the few units in the game to survive a Guardian hit. Even the Mighty Wagon goes down in one shot. Ballistas 2, Trebs 2. Of course the Golem can survive, but it will still take 45% damage on planes. The Guardian is so strong, it can even tank the Guardian! The Guardian will not be able to do much damage to itself. It only did, as you can see, 36%. And remember, this Guardian can attack me and start regenerating health. So two Guardians can't ever kill each other. That's how broken they are. Again, we will get to their weaknesses at the end of the video, don't worry. Now the Guardian will almost destroy a Balloon, will completely destroy a Harpy, and deal massive damage to Witches, and yes, you heard it right, Dragons. These things can even attack a dragon from road and be totally fine. The fact that they can attack air units at all is impressive. Now, they can't attack units that are in deep sea, but they can hit sea units on the beaches, dealing 94% to a turtle, one-shotting a harpoon ship, and a warship will get one shot by the Guardian. The barge, incredibly, this 200 gold barge can survive a hit from it. But the new boat is just paper, it's done, and even the mighty Kraken will take over half its health in damage. The merfolk is just kaput, the frog is slaughtered, the flamingo rider is off its flamingo. Okay? This thing destroys almost everything in the game in one hit and there is nothing else like it. A stronghold will take half of its health in damage from the guardian, meaning two guardians could destroy a stronghold in one turn. A regular village will take... 
1% of its health, and a commander will take damage as if it was hit by another commander. That's so much damage. This is planes. Now, you're probably wondering, this thing seems so broken. How do you build it? I want one. Can I build it out of my racks? My hideout? No. You actually can't build the Guardian at all. It is so powerful that it cannot be built by the technology in Wargroove 2. So how do you get one? It just has to be a feature of the map. You're probably not going to see a lot of these on most maps. Oh, also fun fact, if you want to try to heal this thing by reinforcing it on a village, it's going to be expensive. Healing it from 1% to full costs 1,980 gold, meaning if you could build the unit, it would cost 2,000 gold. That means spending 300 gold to mage heal it, just this, is actually efficient, and this is officially the most expensive unit in the game. However, however, if you really need to kill this thing, if you're playing on a map that has one, maybe a campaign map or something else, you might be thinking, well, the frog can lick it into the water, right? No. No, it can't. I'm going to end my turn and show you. The frog actually cannot lick the guardian. The guardian is, like commanders, immune to displacement, meaning it can't be pushed or pulled into the water. That's not going to work. However, there is one ability that will work on the guardian, and that is the kraken's tentacle ability. If you use the Kraken's tentacle ability, you can stun the Guardian, and I know what you're thinking, oh, it's going to regenerate health now. No. If the Guardian didn't stun itself by attacking, then that means it can totally not regenerate any health. So you can do damage to it, and the damage will stick. Krakens are a great way to shut down Guardians for long periods of time using the tentacle ability. And dragons hit it for a decent amount of damage, though in reality, if you want to kill this thing, you want to just hit it over a couple turns on like a bunch of sides and try to overwhelm its regeneration. However, however, we haven't talked about the Guardian's biggest weakness yet, because it does have a very big weakness. If you somehow, by some miracle, manage to kill this thing, it doesn't die. It powers down and turns back into a building that anyone can capture, even the player that defeated it, turning it back into a full health guardian working for you now. And now it's your turn to destroy your opponent with the guardian. If you have any more questions, ask me in the comments. That's all for now, and welcome to Wargroove.